Hi, I'm Sharon, and welcome to episode 191 of the Knit Style Podcast. You're stuck with me today. I have no co-host. Rich is not feeling well. He had oral surgery on Monday, and it's very sore today, so it's hard for him to talk. And I can't wait another day to record because I am going to Florida tomorrow. But anyway, <laughs> I have some things to show you. I have a lot of knitting to show you, and I have yarn to show you, and an exciting shop announcement. So stay tuned to the end for that. So before I get started with my main show, I want to do the giveaway from last week. And... I had a lot of comments. These pages, 12 pages, I printed out full of YouTube comments. And I'm going to answer some of those questions. I asked you to ask me questions, anything about Rich and I or knitting or whatever. And I picked five and I will answer those today. So anyway, I used a YouTube random comment picker and yeah, I had over 150 comments. Thank you so much. And this is the prize. It is Knit Crate's um, Yarn of the Month shipment for this month. And there are two skeins of Yuri yarn in the periwinkle colorway, and it has sparkle. So the winner of that yarn is Terry Garish. Congratulations, Terry. Contact me on Ravelry. You can send me a message on Ravelry or you can email me at knitstyleyarns at gmail.com. So if you want to contact me for anything, the best two places would be Ravelry. I check those daily. And also my email, knitstyleyarns at gmail.com. Okay, so Terry's question was, what did we do before we retired, Rich and I? So I've answered this before, but I know you, there's a lot of new listeners and I've had other, I had other people in that thread ask me that question as well. So Rich and I taught in a school district before we, we retired. We commuted together. I am a speech language pathologist. I've been, I was doing that career for 38 years, 37 years before I retired and yeah, I'm really happy. I don't have any plans to do that work now. I'm done with that career and starting a new career as a yarn dyer. And Rich is helping me out and enjoying retirement at this point. So thanks for the question, Terry. So while I'm on the topic of questions, let me answer some of the questions that I got. I mean, I got a lot. So I'm going to use these questions in the next few months, because it's going to take me a few months to answer them all, but I'm going to use these in the next few months, you know, just to add some interest to the show. So I had th probably more than three questions about when, I'm, when we are going to get a new dog. So Fran Man, Gidley's Cottage, and Fabiola all asked me questions about, am I still getting a new puppy? When am I getting a puppy? Or, and or would I like an adult? And the answer to those questions is yes. I am on the search for a puppy and I would take anywhere from, you know, eight weeks to a young adult. So I'm looking for a Yorkshire Terrier and I'm in contact with several breeders and I'm waiting for puppies to be born. I'm waiting for breeders to evaluate their dogs to see if they're good show prospects or whether they need to be um, sold as pets. So I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for emails. <laughs> so I'll take a girl or a boy. Originally I thought I would like a girl because I've never had a male dog. But I hear that the males are very affectionate and lovely so I would take either. I would have the, the puppy neutered. I'm not interested in breeding or anything. I just want a nice pet and a healthy pet is what I'm interested in. So yes, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll see. I know there's some 
litter is being born in April. So we'll see. Okay, so Sandra Lapore and Deborah Story asked me, what is my favorite thing I've ever knit and would I show it? So my favorite thing I ever knit was a beautiful silk tank top. I think the yarn was 100% silk. It was art yarns and I actually have it here to show you. I love this finished object and I only wear it in the summer because it's a summer top and it's a little big on me but it's fine because it is just gorgeous. I'm so sorry I didn't look up the pattern before I started the show but I will put the pattern in the show notes down below and I'll put it across here. So this is actually not the easy, it's, it's an easy pattern to knit but the fitting on it is tricky because it's knit on the bias so yeah you'd have to do some research but this was art yarns and I just it's a I think it's pretty much it's probably a silk merino blend and this front piece here I absolutely love it's like a sparkly um, detail that I put in there this that yarn was like a luxury yarn with sequins and tiny tiny little beads and I love how this came out love it I will wear it on the show at some point this summer it's interesting of all the shows I've ever done I don't think I've ever shown this I don't think I've worn it on the show either it has to be a hot day because I'm always cold so in order for me to have bare sleeves it has to be pretty warm so Yes, I, I love this. And I wear it out if we're going somewhere. Like a lot of times we go out to lunch to a nice restaurant in the summertime. And I've worn it to the Culinary Institute of America several times. And I love it. It's, you could dress it up or down. It's my favorite. Okay, next question. Ann Otlewiski asks me, when do I knit? She knits in the morning. I sometimes knit in the morning. However, I like to get a lot of my work done in the morning, my dyeing and whatnot. So I generally knit most of my, most of my knitting time is in the evening. And I usually make sure I'm able to sit down at eight o'clock and I knit from eight till about 1130 while I'm watching podcasts and things on YouTube. And some occasionally I'll knit during the day. Sometimes I'll take a break from working and knit in the afternoon. So, yeah. Basically, though, mostly at night. I would like to maybe get up a little earlier, though, and get more done because I feel like I'm not getting enough done lately. <laughs> we'll see. And... Gutierrez Services asked me, have I done any spinning lately? And no, I have not done any spinning lately, and I'm really sad about it. Every time I walk by my spinning wheel, kid you not, I look at it longingly. And I really should just sit down and do it. But I'm always in the middle of something, and there's so much knitting I want to get done that I'm not taking time enough for spinning. And it's making me sad because I really like spinning. I have to, I lost my, I haven't really lost my spinning mojo because I like it. I just have to make time for it. I think that's the thing. And um, Linda Lane asks, how long would it take for me to dye a sweater? So I'm gonna answer you and say that depends. If it's a solid color, an hour maybe however if like my comfort fade cardigans that are super popular by the way thank you so much for those of you who have ordered that kit it's a really popular kit that'll take me for for those it's four different colors and it ranges between seven and eleven skeins of yarn with speckles so it's like a two-step process that'll take me two to three hours so if I'm I can do 
And I can probably do, with all my pots that I have, I could probably do two sweaters quantities worth at once. So that's, that's how I've been doing it. So yeah. And I have, I have one more question from Nancy Groth. And her question is, would you consider coming down to Maryland Sheep and Wool May 5th and 6th now that you're retired? And my answer to that is yes. So my announcement is yes, I am going to Maryland Sheep and Wool. I am super, super excited about it. Rich is not coming because he's not interested. He just, I don't know, he's doesn't want to spend the day at a fiber festival if we're away. He'd, he'd rather go somewhere and do something else. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going. And I, and I actually, it was interesting. About a week and a half ago, I really got to the bug to investigate going to the festival. So I went online and I looked at hotels. And I found a hotel about 40 minutes south. It's a Marriott. It looks beautiful. So I just booked a room. And the room was very reasonable. And I was trying to talk my daughter into going with me. So she didn't give me an answer. She's busy, you know, she is, she's dating now. So I don't think she wants to leave that. And so I was just gonna go by myself, which would have been fine. So last week when I met Donna to get bags and whatnot, I mentioned it to her and I said, I'm going to Maryland Sheep and Wool. She said, you are? And I said, yes. And I said, do you want to go? And she said, yes, I want to go. And I'm so excited that Donna was able to clear her schedule for that weekend and is coming with me. So we are doing a road trip on May 4th together. I'm picking Donna up on May 4th. And we're driving down to Maryland Sheep and Wool. I'll drive, she'll knit. And Donna's actually from Maryland, so she knows the way, so that's cool. And yeah, we're gonna go to Needles Up on Friday. I'm so excited to see all my friends at Needles Up. And then spend the night Friday night, go to the festival Saturday, spend the Saturday night at the hotel. We're not going on Sunday. We're gonna come home on Sunday. So yay, I am really really excited about it and Donna and I are gonna have a blast it's a really nice hotel and it's near like some nice shopping and eateries so we're gonna have a great time a girls weekend Woohoo! Oh, I can't wait for that <laughs> okay so that's that you guys want to see some so I've only been working on two projects this week and they're both taking me time per row because one is color work and then the other one, the rows are getting longer and longer. So this is the Humulus sweater. And I am halfway finished with the yoke. So I love how it's coming out. I think my gauge is fine. Remember last week I had some gauge issues. I'm using a size 8 24 inch needle to knit the project. I ordered an Addy, Addy Rocket. It came last Friday. I started this last Friday. And what's today? Wednesday? So, yeah. So halfway finished with the yoke. And I think it's going to block out fine. What I should do is I should try it on. You know, put it on two needles and then just slip it on to see how the sizing is. In fact, maybe I'll do that when I'm done here, when I'm done recording. But I'm really liking it. It's slow going though, because I'm a, I'm a new color work knitter. I think my floats are fine. They don't seem to be too tight. I really, you know, I was very conscious of not making tight floats. So, I think my floats are fine. I'm not catching floats. There's some spaces in the color work pattern where there's five stitches and then you have to move on to the next color. And I'm not catching the floats in between. I was watching um, Skein Deer Knits and she said that she will let five stitches go by and not catch floats. I think if there's any more than five, she'll catch the float. 
Um, but she said five, she doesn't. So I figured I'd go with that. And it seems to be fine. My five stitch floats seem to be really okay. So I'm just going to go with that. I mean, I, I don't have, it's not for a little baby that has tiny little fingers that are going to fit through those. I think it'll, it's going to be fine. And I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's blocked. I'm also doing something that Ellie recommends um, when doing color work is blocking as you go. So kind of stretching these stitches out, you know, just to even out the, the floats and the knitting. So I'm doing that as I go. And it seems to be going really well. I wanted to finish this by April 30th. It's not going to happen. There is no way I'm going to finish an entire sweater by April 30th. No. But that's okay. So I'm taking my time and enjoying it. And I'm hoping to be finished with the yoke by the time I come back from Florida. Because I'm taking this with me. So the only other project I've been working on is the Helen Stewart Impress Impressionists Mystery Knit Along. And I've only fin I'm not even finished with Clue 1 yet because I've been concentrating on that yoke. But I'm almost finished with Clue 1 and I love it. It's gorgeous. I'm almost ready to put in color 3. And the next clue, spoiler alert, is a, is a little bit of lace. So I like having a little lace project with me when I'm away. It's kind of, I don't know. If I'm in a, on a plane or something, it just, it's not so monotonous. So we'll see. And that's it. That's all I've been knitting, guys. I need to start my second sock. For the Raynard socks, I haven't done that. I will do that when I'm in Florida. So I'm planning on doing a lot of knitting in Florida. A lot. When I go to the beach, the knitting comes with me. I don't know how much beach I'm gonna do. I don't. Rich loves the beach, he's not coming with me. Our daughter, not so much a beach girl. And I know my father is not a beach guy. And he's the one who I'm going to visit. So I don't know if I'm going to be spending a lot of time at the beach. I'd like to do some hiking, though, because the weather should be okay for hiking. It's not, like, wicked hot. So there's a park I want to go to and do a hike. And then there's another little uh, wildlife preserve I'd like to do a hike. So, yeah, and I'd like to do some running. Just relaxing, basically, because when I'm away, it's nice. I don't have to worry about working. Speaking of working, I have no yarn boy to hold my yarn. <laughs> That's terrible. So I have no bag and yarn combination this week because I do not have time this weekend to dye out, to dye the yarn bag combinations. And I don't like to have people waiting that long. So next time I record, you'll be seeing a bag yarn combination. I am not dyeing yarn to match a bag this week. I wanted to show you two bags that Donna has sewed for you guys that I'm not going to be dyeing yarn for, but these bags are going to be in Donna's shop, linked down below in my show notes down below YouTube, and these bags are super cute knitting bags, knitting themed. So here's the first one. I love it. It is gray yarn balls and red yarn balls on a black background with knitting needles. And the inside has this really cute red and black polka dots. So these will be in Donna's shop, not in my shop. And then the second one is super, super cute. It is little knitting chicks. So there's these cute little chickens, these little baby chicks. And there's all these like knitting terms on here basket weave knit cable waffle maybe waffle stitch i'm like waffle is that a knitting <laughs> pearl rib knit what else is on here basket weave slip seed 
So it's super cute with these beautiful yarn balls. And these chicks are adorable. They're knitting and they're wearing glasses. <laughs> they're so cute. They have little knitting needles. And the inside is pretty plain yellow. So these bags, again, will be in Donna's shop. Look in the description box in the down bar below and you'll find the link to Donna's shop. And I'm not sure how many she has of these. So if you're interested, go. Um, her update will be the same day as mine, which is Thursday, April 12th, 2017 at 8 o'clock p.m. I do have a very exciting shop news update and I am beyond excited about this. So I am starting my very first yarn club. I've never done a yarn club before. Last Christmas I did the mini skein um, advent calendar club I guess and that doesn't really count as a yarn club. So this is going to be a yarn club that's going to run for three months and it has a theme and I chose the theme. I've had this on my mind for some months now. I think I had done a poll back in the late fall or early fall asking what you guys would want in a yarn club and I had so many people, an overwhelming amount of people mention that they would love a Wizard of Oz yarn club. So yay, that is what I'm doing. So the really exciting thing about it though, for me and for Donna too, is we're including a bag. So I found, I've been waiting to find nice fabric for this and I finally found just the cutest, most beautiful Wizard of Oz fabric. And Donna ordered the fabric and we're all set to go. So this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna have a listing in my Etsy shop for the Wizard of Oz Yarn Club. The first shipment you will get the bag and your first skein of yarn. The, the, the skein of yarn is probably not gonna be match the bag. I mean, it'll, it'll coordinate, but it's not gonna be like an exact match like I do, but it'll, all of, everything will, in the kit will coordinate. So the next month you will get another skein of yarn and then the third month you'll get your final skein. So it's three skeins of yarn and a bag. And you'll have your bag right away so you could, you know, use it when you knit your projects or whatever. So um, you'll have your choice of yarn bases. You can choose the posh base, which is the MCN, the cashmere base. You can choose, I think I'm going to put trendy up as a choice. Um, you know, my workhorse four ply sock yarn and the singles base and maybe the sparkle. I don't know. I have to think about it. You'll see it when I, when I do the listing. Oh, I'm definitely putting the DK base. I'm going to be putting the classy DK because so many, I have to tell you that a majority of my business, people have been buying DK yarn, which is amazing. So yes, DK will be a choice in the yarn club. And that is fairly rare with yarn clubs. So I'm super, super excited. I have so many colorway ideas floating around in the brain. I actually have enough ideas to do like a six month club. So when this club is over, if I get enough interest, I may extend it, you know, and you'll pay again and then get three more colors. But for now it's only three skeins of yarn in a bag. So yeah, the pricing will be in the listing and check that out. The listings will go live tomorrow, Thursday, April 12th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And your first shipment will come probably mid to late May and then mid to late June and then mid to late July. So that'll be nice for the summer and it's gonna be really cool colors. So I am super excited. <laughs> All right, aside from that, I do have a small amount of yarn for Thursday's update. So before I show you this next 
set. I want to thank you all. I want to thank all of you who bought my um, Helen Stewart Mystery Knit Along Kit for the Impressionists shawl. And I decided, I'm just enjoying knitting that so much, I decided to dye up another colorway. And I don't know, maybe I'll knit it out of this colorway because I really like this color. So I did this colorway set and I absolutely love it. This is pirate themed. So, and then you can use this in pretty much any shawl set. I mean, they, they don't really fade, but there's a lot of shawl, three color shawl um, patterns out there where this would work. So this one is Pirate's Booty. This one is Sunken Treasure. And this one is Cat and Jack. And I love these colors. I may have to knit another Impressionists shawl out of these because I just love these blues. They're just, they're beautiful. So I'm really excited about these. And I have them, I have, I have them over, I have some in Sparkle and I have one in, two in Posh and I have one in the singles. And I'll dye more if you guys like them. So I had a custom order for a mini skein set. So I decided to dye up a few more in case other people were interested. So this set is called Spring Fling. So here they are. I love this set. So this is Spring Fling. I flung a lot of dye on this <laughs> yarn, so it came out really bright and cheerful. This is Butter, Vineyard, um, Pool Time, Bermuda Breeze, and Spring Green. And I love them. So there's only four of these available. So, and the only other thing, new thing I have is I do have some full skeins of Spring Fling. So just really pretty rainbowy speckled white yarn and I love it and that's it <sighs> so a little administrative business next week there will be no show because again I'm going away this weekend and I really need about a week to just get everything organized around here because I'm thinking of hiring some help and I want to get my studio all set for her to start and you know get ready to do some yarn skeining and orders and things like that and I just want to have it nice and neat for her and that's going to take about a half a day but yeah I also have a lot of pre-orders to die next week so no show next week, but we'll be back. I'm hoping Richie will be better the following week, which will be like April 25th or something like that. So that's it. All right. So with that, I'm going to end the show. I miss Rich too. <laughs> Hopefully he'll be better next week. I hope you guys have a great week. Happy knitting and cheers.